guys, welcome back to Zara Zoo. I'm Zara and thanks so much for stopping by. As you can tell from the title of this video, I will be showing you some things that I use for my hedgehog stick box. Some of these things that I'm going to be showing you are from the dollar store, they're from PetSmart and an Etsy store. So if you want to see what I use, then keep on watching. So the first thing I have here is this blue igloo from PetSmart and it's from the small animal section. My hedgehog really enjoys this. It's probably one of his favorites just because it's not too like high up so it's close to the ground it has a little rim so when he digs things don't go like flying out and then right now in here I just have some fleece strips like a little blanket thing and some fleece strips I'm going to be adding some more since I got a package in the mail yesterday um so yeah pretty much you can never have enough fleece strips um so that's one of his first favorite things that he uses the next thing I have here is from Dollarama and it's this cute little bunny um ceramic bowl and inside I have these pom-poms. These are the medium to large ones, I believe. Um, I just bought packages of these at Michael's, the craft store, so I didn't have to pick through like a bunch of packages for the big ones. Um, if you do use pom-poms, make sure you don't use the little ones because they could be a hazard. I don't know if your hedgehog would eat them, but just in case. Um, but he likes to climb in here and kind of just like kick his legs and toss the pom-poms. So I find them scattered throughout his cage when I check up on him um, in the morning and night, so. This is a fun go-to dig box as well as little pom-poms. Cuddle cup. My other idea for the next dig box is this little cuddle cup. Um, it's fairly large and then something I've done in the past is take a bunch of fleece strips and just kind of put them in here. And he really loves to just burrow himself inside of it and kind of just like make it a little house. Sometimes he even knocks it like this way so it's like a little cave and then fleece underneath. Um, so that's another go-to favorite um, dig box. My last idea is um, having one of these larger igloos from PetSmart and if you tip it this way or even, you can even tip it I guess the other way like the proper way um, Filling it with some fun toys or just like fleece or pom-poms or a mixture of both um, He really seems to um, enjoy this I'll find it kind of like around his cage at night or in the morning and it's really like crumply I'll see him like walk all over it. So that's a fun one um, I got this little sheep or like lamb from the dollar store and I think it was only like two to three dollars so fairly cheap and then this little duckling or chicken, baby chick, um, is also from the dollar store and it's like so soft and sometimes I'll see Rock kind of like pulling it around and like sleeping with it so that's really cute to see. And then these items are from PetSmart. We have a little dinosaur from the cat section. Um, this is a bumblebee that I had in my Valentine's Day video. Sometimes I'll see him like knock this ball part around or like kind of tug on this, these little wings. And then he also really enjoys this little hamster, um, mouse hamster thing from the cat section. So that's also super fun for him. I'll be using this rubber meat container and I cut some, I cut like a little opening out with some scissors. Then I add some tape just to make sure it wasn't sharp. It wasn't sharp anyway, but just to be like extra cautious because don't want any hedgies having accidents. I put some tape on the sides and now I'll be adding these pebbles. So this is what it looks like. Here is the little makeshift DIY dig box. And then you can also add some live mealworms or froze freeze dried mealworms. So I'm gonna add some of these. So I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other ideas for a dig box. And goodbye.